Gesture 3D, posing 3D characters via gesture drawings. Artists create gesture drawings which unambiguously convey a character's pose in just a few minutes. These drawings are commonly used for storyboarding. The depicted poses are then applied to 3D character models. Posing is currently performed using cumbersome modeling software, and the drawings are only used as a reference. We introduced the first method for algorithmically posing characters using gesture drawings as input. Our method lets users avoid the effort of interacting with a complex software interface. Our method plausibly poses 3D characters using quickly generated gesture drawings and rigged character models provided in a neutral bind pose as the only inputs. It successfully handles drawings of complex poses with part foreshortening, occlusions, and inaccuracies. Unlike other types of 2D inputs, gesture drawings allow artists to unambiguously convey poses to human observers. Gesture drawings are dominated by curves, conveying the occlusion contours of the depicted characters and typically depicting simplified character anatomy. Artists typically use simple low curvature stroke segments to outline body parts and use higher curvature sections to depict their connecting joints. These high curvature anatomical landmarks help observers to parse the drawings. The projected contours of both individual body parts and part chains are usually continuous. Adjacent contour stroke segments outline adjacent body parts, and adjacent body part outlines are typically depicted using one shared stroke or multiple gestalt continuous ones. Body part contours are consistently oriented with respect to the part's skeletal bone and rarely cross the bone's 2D projection. These contour consistency cues allow observers to identify poses with globally consistent joint and bone locations. Character contours allow multiple depth interpretations. When estimating depth from 2D drawings, viewers prefer less foreshortened interpretations of the observed shapes, leading artists to select viewpoints with smaller foreshortening. We also observe that artists use interpart and local occlusions to convey changes in depth and to specify depth order. Gestalt psychology shows that viewers prefer simple drawing interpretations. For gesture drawings, we believe that viewers use two types of simplicity cues. They prefer more natural poses, with angles closer to those in the input bind pose. Viewers also visually complete hidden body parts and correct drawing inaccuracies by using regularity cues such as pose symmetry. Finally, while human observers can clearly parse professional gesture drawings, these drawings are typically inexact and should not be relied on to correctly depict proportions and projected joint locations. We first match skeletal elements against corresponding contour stroke segments. We formulate joint placement as a discrete 2D embedding problem that matches joints to corresponding contour samples and is dominated by contour consistency, post simplicity, and anatomical landmark matching criteria. We then compute the desired embedding by casting it as a variation of the tree-structured Markov random field problem. We extend our solution to 3D by leveraging the depth order implied by occlusion contours and our observations about viewer preference for simple and less foreshortened poses. To overcome drawing inaccuracy, we formulate 3D embedding as an energy minimization problem which balances landmark implied 2D joint placement against our simplicity and foreshortening cues. We exhibit a gallery of character poses, obtained automatically from gesture drawings of a range of 3D characters. We evaluate our results against ground truth data by first rendering projected contours of posed character models, then using these contours as input to our method achieving plausible ground truth reconstruction. We compare our algorithm's results with characters posed by artists given the same drawings as input. Artists agreed that our results capture the drawn pose as well. We also compare the character contour correspondences computed by our method against manual annotation by human observers and highlight the similarity between them.
Finally, we qualitatively compare our method against prior work and algorithmic alternatives, showing that our method provides superior or equal quality results with less user input. For more information, please see the paper. Thank you for watching.